If you're like me, you make the most out of birthdays and the holiday season by gifting your homeschoolers useful games, books, and learning tools to aid in their homeschool journey. To help you with your holiday gift giving, I've put together a list of my favorite educational stocking stuffers. And stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how you can be entered for a chance to win an absolute dice stocking stuffer game. I've broken down these educational stocking stuffer suggestions according to subject matter. To make checking off the names on your list super easy, I'll link all the stocking stuffers in the video description below. Let's start with language arts. The first game I have for your learner stocking is Absolute Dice Word Junior. This game challenges players to practice their spelling skills to create words matching a rolled theme. If you have older learners, you can also check out Absolute Dice Word. Players will take turns rolling the letter dice to try and create words related to a category. I love these games on days when we are looking for something fast and fun with little setup or cleanup requirements. Next is Word Family Flashcards, prefixes, root words, and suffixes. These flashcards can be used for a wide range of ages and are great if your goals include learning, prefixes, suffixes, or root word meanings, or just to brush up and review these skills as needed. The game Spelled is a fast-paced spelling game that is great for homeschoolers at different learning levels. There are four levels that increase in difficulty and eight sets of cards in all. Individual players play to their own skill levels, giving each player equal opportunity to practice spelling skills and build confidence and to win the game. Holiday Mad Libs, or any Mad Libs really, make for great stocking stuffer ideas. My students enjoy starting our days with class Mad Libs or two, taking turns calling out suggestions for the parts of speech, and then laughing at the silly scenarios they create. Doing this activity as a group has even led to my youngest learner at the age of three years old to learn the difference between nouns, verbs, and adjectives. Here's a gift for those of you with younger learners. Match and learn dominoes. If you have an early reader, these sets come in a wide variety of language arts lessons from beginning sounds and blends to word families and homophones. You will find a set to help build those early reading and writing skills for your student. The Match and Learn Dominoes are not just for language arts. There are a lot of options for math as well, leading us into our next subject matter category. For math, Match and Learn Dominoes. Again, these are great for early math skills like 10 frames, place value, telling time, addition, and subtraction. But more complex topics like algebra and fractions can also be used with older students as well. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a huge fan of Absolute Dice. The original game provides a lot of math practice, including identifying odd from even numbers, adding up point values, counting turns, and more. The first player to score 101 points wins. Math Stacks is a bit like dominoes, but rather than matching end to end, you create three card stacks, piling the equivalent cards on top of one another. Like a lot of the other resources that I've shared, I love math stacks because they come in a wide range of skills, so it's easy to find something for the younger learners like practicing place value, addition, subtraction, and then the older learners have things like two-step algebra, geometry, equivalence, and proportional relationships. Purchase individual decks, or you can purchase an entire set of six that will span two to three grade levels. You can play together or have your homeschooler practice math skills independently using the Math Stacks decks. By far, my favorite math game of them all is Mathological Liar. This detective game ranges from second grade to sixth grade and each set of cards tells you what skill is being practiced. Students will use their sleuth skills to review all the case clues and work through the math problems to determine who done it. There may be more than one guilty party, so students have to work through each problem in order to make sure that they identify all of the guilty parties. I love that you don't have to go in order, and you can select the cards relating to whatever skill you're working on at the time. These are great for math warm-ups, activities, review, or just a change in pace from the usual math work. 
For science, I've included some art supplies that we use to create our nature journals. Colored pencils are one of my students' favorite go-to supplies, as well as these convenient travel watercolor paint sets. The brushes hold the water, making it easy to paint on the go or outside while on nature exploration adventures. We also make great use of these small, easy to carry field guides for animal track identification, plant identification, and more. Another easy to carry science tool that gets a lot of use around here are these pocket microscopes. My students love taking them outside to view caterpillars, leaves, fungi, flower petals, feathers, whatever they find, up close and in greater detail. If your students are like mine, they enjoy books that fit into adventure packs and coat pockets. DK Pocket Genius provides an awesome series of small books that are big on information and facts. Elements in Space are my older learners' favorites from last Christmas, while my youngest learner will be thrilled to find dinosaurs in his stocking this year. My oldest student is really getting into chemistry this year, while my younger students are enjoying nature study, so these flux games are the perfect stocking stuffers. Like the Match and Learn Dominoes, flux games come in a variety of subject matters, lessons, and themes. This is a two to six player game that is fast playing. Professor Noggin's games are another stocking stuffer idea that you can find that cross subject matters and cover many different topics. These are a favorite of my students, both in the classroom and to receive as gifts. I like to carry a set in my purse for times when we find ourselves waiting for an appointment or to have my children quiz one another on car rides. For science, you can find Professor Noggin's games on the topics of the wonders of science, earth science, outer space, and the human body, just to name a few. Professor Noggins also has a lot to offer for those who enjoy history. From ancient civilizations and medieval times to countries of the world or geography of the United States, you are sure to find a Professor Noggins card game to match your history or geography lessons. These are some of my favorite games for schooling on the go. The canisters are small and easy to add to my purse or a travel bag. Timeline is a game of placing cards in order of historical occurrence. Choose from the classic version, events, or inventions. Gameplay is meant for two to six players, but because the cards have the dates listed on the back, I sometimes use these as an independent activity challenge, allowing students to self-check their own work. These are the perfect gift for kids who love trivia, history, and are always looking for that next rabbit trail to investigate. A goal that often comes up when homeschooling in the United States is teaching children about national geography and matching states with their capital cities. Learning Wrap-Ups offers the perfect stocking stuffer for this with their educational states and capitals self-correcting keys. Students can independently practice matching states to their corresponding capital cities while checking their work to the lines on the back of each key. This set also includes state abbreviations for extended learning. From United States presidents to Greek mythology, or ancient Egypt to U.S. national parks, the Top Trump card game is another great gift for history and trivia lovers alike. Each card contains a fun fact file that players use to compare against other cards within the deck, transforming learning into a warlike card game. Top Trumps is not just limited to historical topics as you can find sets for animals, dinosaurs, insects, outer space, architecture, musical instruments, and classical cars, just to name a few. With so many options, you're sure to find a set that will play into your children's interests. As the Top Trump slogan says, whatever you're into, so are we. Now that we've covered my favorite educational stocking stuffer ideas, I'd love to hear what your favorites are. Comment below sharing your favorite educational stocking stuffer or what you plan to gift your homeschoolers with this holiday season, and you'll be entered to win a free Absolute Dice game from Tri-Village Academy, LLC. I will announce a winner this Friday. I hope that this video gave you some ideas to fill the stockings of your homeschoolers. If you're looking to gift yourself a little something this holiday, check out the newly released Tri-Village Academy course, How to Get Started Homeschooling. You can find a link in the video description below. And remember, it takes a village.